wrote it down. So it's God's Word. Yeah. And David was a very good example. Man and woman alike. Yeah. Man and woman alike. David was a good example. He was a great. And I always loved Paul and Peter and all those in the New Testament. But we can look back and see how David's life worked. And we can learn a lot about our lives. Yes. Just Amen. by reading the Bible. Amen. Again, I, I encourage you to read more of your Bible than you'll know all these great stories. And I know a lot of us was told at young ages, and I thank Mama for that. She used to tell us about David and all the things he done. But it just brings it out so much better when I read it myself. Yeah. When I read it myself. Amen. So I encourage you to do that. Tonight, if you, if you found your place, we'll start reading in uh, 1 Samuel 17, verse 45. Then David said... To the Philistine, thou comest to me with sword and with spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of the host, the God of the, God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee, and I will give and I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day into the fowls of the air. And to the wild beasts of the earth, so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all the assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Now here we see David is getting ready to fight the giant. The giant. But first I want to look back just a little further on. David was out in the field. And Samuel came, come to God said, you go to Jesse's house and I'll send you the son. Then I want to know him. He ran every one of his boys through there. That wasn't the one. He said, is there any more? He said, any more? He said, I got one more out in the field. Here comes David. Little boy, ruddy boy, he called him. Yeah. I looked that up, by the way. That's a reddish tin boy. Little ruddy David. Here he comes. That's the one. Tonight, some of us are a little ruddy. But we're the one God wants to do the job sometimes. Yes, amen. That's right. And the battle's His. But what I want to look at tonight is have we forgotten what God has done for us? Now, we just read right there that the battle, the Lord said, David said right there, the battle is the Lord's. Now I want you to look for just a short minute right below that at the two verses right below it. And we'll be doing some skipping around. But the Bible says, And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David. And David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. And the stone, and the stone stunk, stunk into his forehead and he fell upon the face of the earth. So David prevailed of the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Looky there, God gave him the victory. Yeah, he gave him the victory. Have you, do you remember when you were a young Christian and you trusted in God? Yeah. Yes. And you had God's anointing on your life? Come on, and He gave you those victories that you never thought you could conquer. You go out into the streets and tell people about Jesus and He'd give you a soul for your labor. Amen. And some people think that's no big deal, but it is. It's hard sometimes to go out into a multitude of people and tell them about the Lord. Amen. But He'll give you the victory tonight. Yes. But then we're going to look through this life here how David did. Not shortly after that, David forgets. David starts forgetting. That's what happens to us. We start forgetting about those victories, those giants that God has slayed in our lives. Amen. What about when He saved your children from destruction? He's done mine many times. What about when He saved your life from destruction? He's Amen. done that many times. What about the financial burden you're up against and He saved you from it? Yes. That's a giant battle in our lives. But we, we'll soon forget We'll soon forget. But that's why God put this in His Bible for you to learn from. Who, who do you learn best from? Mistakes that you see others make, you sure can learn from it. God went ahead and put David's mistakes. He put his victories and his mistakes there. Yeah. So 
So we don't have to see, we don't have to doubt God. We know what He can do, but we'll forget. So tonight, we don't need to forget the battles that God has won in our life. Amen. We don't need to forget the times He's been there for us. And you know what happens to us? It's not long, and we'll see here in a minute how fast we can forget. When we get on that mountain, we think we're the giant. Come on, Tim. We start putting ourselves before God. We need to remember tonight who God really is yes. and what He has done. Good. We uh, we we start looking at David's life here in uh, First Samuel chapter twenty. And you can turn there if you want to and read, but in verse 1, he goes to Jonathan. Saul's already after him. He's going to kill him. Now, now I want to say tonight, I want to say this very clear. There is nothing wrong going to the man of God or a good godly friend seeking advice. Amen. But first of all, we need to seek God's advice. Yes, that's good, brother. Now, David ran too long before he went ahead because, because of his honor, which was a good thing. Which was a good thing. I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but he let too many things, I think, go by. And I believe the Bible clearly shows that. If you'll go ahead and read all of Samuel, 1 Samuel, you'll find out. David's running and hiding from Saul. But God took care of that battle for him. But you know, Jonathan was a good boy, but he's not God. Lance, you're a good man, but you're not God, and I thank you for your friendship, and I thank you for the times I can call you. But there's times that we should go to our Father because we forget the battles He's won tonight. We forget the times He's rescued our lives. We forget all those people He's healed for us. We come up here and we beg God and we pray for people, and that's what I want us to do. But don't forget God's the one that done it. And don't get mad when He heals them through death. Amen. You say, how do you get healed through death?